hi all I just thought you know let me do another another one part two you know the title as you can see at the top basically so when whatever situations we go through whether, whether it's with family friends you know whatever pain we're going through whatever we suffer out of that 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 mud that grime that dirt that filth you know out of that pain eventually something good is going to come out of it you will learn something from it you know don't underestimate what you're going through at the moment because it's only temporary pain doesn't last forever it's, it's a temporary temporary pain you know whatever age you you whatever age you are you can you can always pray your way out of it and trust Jesus but don't you know don't don't be upset but about me talking about Jesus because he's the only answer i mean you can try other things but you might you might find it as a temporary satisfaction but it won't be permanent but it's it's only Jesus Jesus that can temp that can that can satisfy permanently and for life as long as we keep seeking him and desiring him which is not it's not difficult to do because the, the Bible says the Bible says the body is weak but the but the spirit is willing Yeah, the body is weak, but the spirit is willing or able. But if you want me to look up that scripture, then let me know. So, yeah, you know, don't don't think, you know, I'm always going to go through turmoil, always going to be going through problems, problems for the rest of my life. That's not the. That's not. That's not. That's not true you know don't don't believe that lie that you always gonna, that you're always going to be going through temp turmoil for the rest of your life there's always a break period and i do i do believe that the break period is the break period is much longer than the actual pain itself you know pain is shorter but the but the joy is longer you know we can't always have have joy all the time we can't always have sorry not not well joy is good I should, I should say but you can't always have pleasure all the time non-stop because it can encourage you to to do wickedness wickedness you can see it with a child when when they become a young adult if you if you always treat treat them good and always molly cuddle them and just you know treat them good all the time and not 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 discipline them they become wicked and just a bit perverse if anything and just sort of like you know become stubborn and you know you know just want to have their way all the time and become proud and you, you if you're a parent you you know what I'm talking about or parents have had problems with their kids but yeah so I mean I can only I can only f basically I found I found out I found out about you know about that about how children become bad when when they've been mollycoddled by this this documentary that of, of a prisoner which the program was called Mummy's Little Murderers I repeat it again Mummy's Little Murderers but um hopefully hopefully I haven't broken copyright but I watched that documentary and it taught me a few things a bit more than two well a bit more than a few things I, I kind of knew it already but you know I just thought I'd watch it again I won't say where what program it, what channel it was on it wasn't a it wasn't a normal, normal UK channel so yeah, uh, yeah. That's really all I have to say for this video. So, God bless. Take care. Peace be with you. If you got any problems or anything that you wanna 
talk with me about or you know want to call me call me my descriptions and yeah so that's it take care bye for now